All right, good evening. Welcome to the Town of Brookfield Select Board meeting for April 20th, 2023. Please rise to say the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, so I'm going to um, pass over the announcements and warrant approvals for now. We'll come back to that. Can I get a motion to move into executive session um, under exemption three to discuss strategy with respect to collective bargaining or litigation if an open meeting may have a detrimental, detrimental effect on bargaining or litigating position of the public body and the chair so declares, I do so declare. Uh, and this is for the active litigation discussion. Right. Uh, you have that motion, and I also move that after executive session we reconvene into open session. Is that right, Kelly? Second. Okay, all in favor, Koff and I? Kodelsky, aye. Regan, aye. All right, thank you. We're going to adjourn here and go to an alternate location. We'll, we'll be back execute. as soon as we can be. All right, welcome back. We're reconvening in our open session. Uh, for the select board meeting for April 20th, 2023. Announcements, the public is invited to attend an Arbor Day event at 1 p.m. Sunday, April 30th at Brookfield Police Station, 7 Prouty Street, hosted by Brookfield Tree Warden Dennis Tucker. And the event will include a tree planting demonstration and a reading of the Arbor Day proclamation. Uh, April 30th, Sunday, April 30th. All right, we, we need uh, to approve the, the warrants. Uh, did you want to read them off, Brad? Sure. Uh, not making a motion, right? No, I don't no, believe we're we need we're just to approving make the warrants for FY2321 accounts payable $232,895.82, FY2321 payroll $192,712.23, FY1221 withholding $67,927.09. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for that. Um, Kelly, would you like to take the lead on the discussion regarding ARPA funds? Yes. All right. So currently we have Sitting in the bank for ARPA funds, we received 1.03 million um, for in general ARPA money. We got another 250,000, which is what I asked you to use. That was specifically for downtown revitalization. We have 408,967.64, of which you've given Ryan 197,000 for Central Street. He is going to need an additional 54,000 for Green Street and an additional $56,711.63 for the Rice Corner Road culvert. If he gets the grant for the culvert. The reason we need the money for Green Street is because prior to signing a con contract, we have to ensure that the money is available. Okay. It's gone out to bid. The bid opening, I believe, is in a week. And we can't enter into a contract without having the full amount that we're anticipating we're going to spend. Okay. So those are those two things. That leaves us a total of 101,256. Plus or minus a penny. Okay. Now, the water department is working with the grant writer, and um, Dennis was supposed to be here, but he's on vacation. Okay. So we, I don't have any information from him, but I spoke with Kathy this morning. They're working on a $3 million grant to connect the water system to East Brookfield. Wow. They need some matching funds. They were looking for 150. We don't have 150 left, but they are planning on asking East Brookfield to also contribute. Now, I don't know if you want to provide the Rice Corner 
Road culvert money via ARPA, or if you would like to add that, to, add that to the annual town to meeting the annual warrant. town meeting warrant, um, would be my recommendation because it's not as time sensitive. It's not, and it's subject to it's subject to him receiving the grant for that culvert. Um, however, the requests for the free cash have we're we're roughly. Ninety-two thousand dollars less than what we have. Um, I think that's roughly what we've we're missing. I thought you showed me we only had like fifty left or something. I got more requests today, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll probably have more um, on. But I put everything on the warrant, which you'll be seeing tonight. Right. Um, th I put everything on the warrant. You can yes or no if you want to do free cash or if you want to raise an appropriate. But keep in mind that whatever you raise an appropriate will <laughs> also reduce the regular budget. Right. So one second here. Let me pull up. Well, it won't reduce the regular budget, but it will reduce any headspace we have between ourselves and the levy limit and potentially increase the tax rate. Yes. Well, you may find you need to cut because you're might be right up against the levy limit. Um, free cash, where are we? If everything that is being sought in free cash is granted in free cash, we are negative $92,432.63 in free cash. Yeah, but doesn't that include paying off the entirety of um, uh, the Heller House. The Heller House. Yes, it does. It does. And if you subtract, and I also have the two ARPA requests in here, so you right. can pick where you want to do it. Right. Because I mean, um, I mean, fundamentally, do we still have the option to refinance the Heller House or a portion there to you? Yeah, we could probably get away with another ban. Yeah. We should pay down some of it, but that'll free up two hundred. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I get it. I would it, rather see you pay off the Heller House. And do ARPA money for the CDBG mm -hmm. and uh, um, Rice Corner Road be on the warrant separately. Yeah, yeah. And, well, I, and, and I don't disagree. And pay off and pay off the Heller House. No, use ARPA money for those two things, and then pay off the Heller House with the free cash. But that—that's where we are with ARPA. So we have roughly a hundred thousand, and the water department would like you to earmark that for the grant, contingent upon receiving the grant for the connection, which they may not receive, which is we may not receive the the Rice Corner Road grant either. So right. it's contingent, just earmark it, contingent upon receiving the grant. So Kelly, yes? the um, so the ARPA money, there's a hundred thousand that's un. Reserved, I'll say, and then there's some money set aside for the Rice Corner Road project. Um, nope, that no? is still unreserved. That's that's I subtracted that because I know that's what he's going to need. That one hundred thousand doesn't include that. There's actually two hundred thousand in the ARPA money. Right. Now, what I was trying to say was that there, in addition to the hundred thousand that's that's unreserved. There's 100,000 that's unspent, but it's reserved for the Rice Corner Road project, pending it, the grant pending, coming in. Pending you saying it's reserved, you haven't reserved it yet. Okay. So, well, and we haven't reserved <coughs> Green Street, but it sounds like Green Street we need to because we do need I, to, yeah, because that one we can't. I, I thought contract. we voted and on Green Street. And the bids may come in lower. We might not need it. Kelly, we I talked, we, we talked on. about Green Street, but okay, but we didn't was, but we it. didn't vote it yet. Oh, maybe because we, maybe didn't, we didn't need to do it until we need we need to do it before we. It, we need that's a precondition of awarding the contract right correct okay yes yeah, so, okay correct. so that's fine. so we might come in under when we, we may not need it mm -hmm. but that i mean the arpa money was intended for street projects yep so that's an appropriate use for that funding mm -hmm. so dennis it was just asking tonight that left. you earmark what's left for the east brookfield connection if it goes through mm -hmm. okay and he, does he think it's enough that w between that and and they were they were talking about I believe I was told today 150 right would cover the contingency for the for the grant if they receive it but they are also going to seek some funding from East Brookfield okay. as well so because it's benefiting both towns and, and the 150 I believe would cover both would be b between the two towns. Yeah. So if we get so. if we do a hundred and they do fifty, then that yeah. Gets or us there. or yeah. Or if it's more, if they need a hundred. See, I don't have the numbers from Dennis. And is this our only wall? 
alternate water source at this point? He's connecting into no, East Brookfield? We're already connected we're already, to West. We're already connected oh, okay. to West, yeah. The goal is to get the Brookfields connected. Yeah. Mr. Banish. Does that $3 million include a water treatment plant? Because that was discussed. No, it's just connecting East Brookfield to West, to, to Brookfield. It's an emergency. It's an emergency connection. It's oh, okay. it's yeah. similar to what we have with West Brookfield, and I think we might have it with North Brookfield already yeah. as well. Yeah. Shall we? Is this would this be? I don't connecting? know. That's why I wanted Dennis to be here, but he's on vacation. Yeah. Would this <laughs> so be connecting us to their treated water, so that if we are not able to deliver treated water into our system, we could receive treated water from? Yeah. From East Brookfield, which we can, which we can already do from West Brookfield. That is the goal, yes. Okay, so I, so I, don't I think. don't know if this will do that, but that is the goal. Okay, so with, so if that is the goal, that would mean that no additional treatment capacity is needed because Brookfield has the capacity to treat its wells. East Brookfield would treat what comes out of its wells. West Brookfield treats what comes out of its wells, Correct. and we just share treated water, not untreated water. That means someone else would need to treated. treat it. Okay, that's uh, okay. Marty, does that help you, or does that? I mean, yeah, there, there's some there's some ifs and maybes in there. But it was still discussed that they're talking. They have I don't know if it's a five-year plan to put in a water treatment plant in Brookfield, and they were talking in the range of three million dollars. Okay, I believe that's a separate that's a separate ask from what we have in front and of us here is, today. Yeah, and that is a definitely a water commission question because yeah. mm -hmm. there's nobody here from the commission to answer any of these. Yeah. All right. So. So. Um, but uh, can I get a motion to allocate the $100,000 to the water department for in support of their grant application? Um, uh, you have that motion for discussion? Okay. Second. Okay. All right. Just is this a, uh, this is a, we can change our mind on this if we, if something comes up and we need to. I, I'm not expecting to, I just want to understand is this the final decision or is this a, we're just saying, yeah, we're voting that we're intending to set it aside, but if someone says, yeah, we'll give you a check for $10 million if you can allocate this. I mean, no, just, because we can't yeah. apply for the grant. Yeah, we have to have the money we set aside. Oh, okay. This until the it's a match for the, the grant. Okay, we have to put aside the money to apply for the grant. Yes. Right. And then, we and, don't if, have to and use if the, the grant, money. if the grant, if the grant is not awarded, then the the money becomes unavailable for other uses. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. Thank you. That helps me understand. Yeah, that's my understanding of how this works. Yeah. And the same thing is true of the 65k <laughs> that we've sort of earmarked for for the rice corner culvert. But like mm -hmm. she said, we have the option to. Reevaluate if that's what we want it mm -hmm. earmarked for at this point. Any Thank other God. discussion? No. All right. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. So uh, we've got a appointment of uh, Chris Droshen to uh, Rec Committee. We get a motion. Uh, make a motion to appoint Christopher Dressen to the Brookfield Rec Committee, Recreation Committee. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. And then um, we've got the um, budget discussion. It's the warrant is next, or do you want to do We can do, do the warrant that? next. Perfect. Or do you want to do the budget? Let's do the warrant next. Did okay. I skip over it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are I did skip over to, it. I'm sorry. Are we supposed ATM to have the warrant? I'm, I'm sending you links right now. Okay. Oh, I'm sending yeah. you links. Let's do it that way. <laughs> do you have the ability to look at it? I could print it, but it's like 14 pages long. No, it's, that's okay. It's like so long as no one's going to be offended at me sitting here staring at my phone, I'm fine with it. All right, so it was sent. When you open it, you'll see some of the things are in green. The green ones are the ones that I've confirmed um, with, with the different departments that I got it right <laughs> based on what they requested. Don't ask me to do things, computer. You know, my friend. <laughs> Let me know when you've got it open. Open. 
Okay, and I can read over Brad's uh, show. Okay. Because I can actually see it from here. So <laughs> Article 1 is your typical, you know, I put in the date, the time, we've got, in, we're going to do the meeting, you know, your normal. Then Article 1 is to accept the annual town reports. Article 2 is to vote to raise an appropriate or borrow for the budget. Article 2 is the budget article. Yep. Article 3. Prior year bill. Prior year bill, yes. This is a bill from 2019 that they just kept forgetting to put on a warrant. But they're asking to transfer funds from FY23, which we can do because we're still in FY23, mm -hmm. to cover this bill so that this is going to finally be paid. And then um, let's see. So that was going to need a <coughs> four-fifths vote because it's paying a prior year bill. The next one is been put on here by I put sponsored by the Board of Selectmen, but this was a, there was a lot of copying and pasting going on today. The treasurer has asked for this funds because prior to her arrival during COVID, there were multiple false claims for unemployment filed, which no one addressed. And so, once the time expires to address it, you lose the right to contest it, and we are required to pay this bill for false unemployment claims filed during COVID. Lovely. I know, it's a beautiful thing, right? Um, and, but that is also coming out of FY23 funds. She has the funds in unemployment that will cover this. So negative zero impact on on FY24. Okay. So did this happen, and she wasn't the treasurer at the time? Correct. Right. This happened when the, during when we had the uh, twenty and twenty one party that was doing the the treasury yes. work, and there was some contention over whether certain aspects of the work was actually under their contract. Right. The next article. I, I think it might be worth a letter back to them regarding. <laughs> quality of service. Well, the, you know, we may not want to recommend, we might not want to recommend because there's been a lot of things discovered which you would, it'd be interesting for you to sit with. Can you go, I mean, Any of you individually I'm not sit recommending with Amy doing it because out. the number's not big enough, but I mean, can you go back at them for something like that and hold them liable for the... For not responding to something they didn't have in their contract? No. Yeah. You oh, okay. can't. Yeah. You'd have to. The HR was not part of their contract. contract. Very explicitly. Gotcha. Very explicitly, yes. So the next article is for $40,000 from the water department to transfer from the water surplus to cover their capital expenses. This is an annual article. It's on every year. It's, it's self funding. Yeah. Yeah. What is the source of the water surplus account? The water bills. They generate oh. revenue through the water bills. Oh, they have a dedicated revenue account similar to the ambulance. Mm -hmm. Okay, I thought yes. I thought their revenue went through the general fund. Thank you. No, it does not. Can I just ask? I'm you? happy to hear. Another, That's why we can use it as offset receipts in the recap. Another question back to the unemployment thing. Yes. So were those were town employees that filed? No, no, they were false claims from town by, employees. No, oh. from, by fake people pretending to be town employees. Oh, gotcha. Okay. For instance, okay. when I was in Lanesboro, there was a claim filed for unemployment for the treasurer who received the claim, who yeah. was working full time and never left the job. So she knew it was a false claim because it was just it was just somebody scamming. Yeah, no, and that happens yeah. a lot. Okay. Looking for a, no, someone it. did not respond, so they get approved. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so now we have the two articles for the ambulance. I reached out to the ambulance department, and you'll see in the notes that I reached out to EMS. Um, I got an email from Peter Martel, and I had explained that the selectmen were going to offer a 3% increase and that that was going to be on the budget. So their warrant articles reflected the 8.7. So I asked what they wanted to do, and their response was 3%. They wanted a 4.5% increase overall based on call volume. Now, this is also self-funding. Right. Right. So this comes out of their receipts. Right. And then 3% for the actual. 3% for the actual. So I took their total budget, applied 3%, and subtracted the difference to make it the 4.5. So the two um, numbers in there are what they 
have requested. Okay. So they're asking for their wages to go up 4.5 percent. No, reflect. they're asking for their wages to go up 3 percent. Oh, and their expenses to go up 4. Point and the, and their wage account to go up an additional 4.5 percent based on additional call volume. So they're expecting to have to pay more active hours. Right. Because no. of calls. Right. No. The overall budget, the whole package, the expenses and oh. the uh, wages would equal a 4.5% increase. Okay. The three percent of that is applied only to wages. Okay. So the way I got the number was, I applied the 3% to last year's wages, the 3% increase. Then I did 4.5 times last year's, subtracted the wages, and got the amount for the expense account. Which is not actually, you know, 4.5. It's, it's like, one percent increase or something silly yeah. on their on their part for that so if assuming that the hourly wages go up three percent uh are are we funding additional hours for them no. or are we only no i misunderstood it that okay. there's additional money that in the overall budget that's going into the expense account okay yeah and this is also paid for out of the money that they generate so this yes. is also not a, a yeah this, tax this, this yeah this is this doesn't tax affect the tax bill correct Okay, the next thing we got was from the highway department for $9,000 for line painting. And the reason that it's more than it typically is, is because line painting was not included in the budget for Central Street and he needs extra money for Central Street. Next. How is that not in? You'll have to ask the highway superintendent mm -hmm. that question. Can we make sure it's in? Uh, Assuming that there's a center line painted on Green Street, can we make sure it's in the contract for Green Street? I can write a note for that. Thank you. And I don't want to go too far down this, but it was a conversation that we had. I mean, it doesn't seem like people are going to, there's going to be a parking issue. That's not on the agenda. Okay. We're not going to talk about it. No, but that I, what, what I'm saying is, should we ask him to come in for the next meeting to address Yes, that should definitely, that, that's a very good idea. Yeah, let's get in on the agenda for the next meeting. What's the agenda item? What's the title of uh, Review of Center Street um, Project uh, Traffic and Parking Flow Impact and Project Management. I have some other questions because I, I had somebody also somebody on the work crew comment that the sidewalk they're doing on that other side was a option part of the contract and I'm wondering how much of the option was with the the money that the came money back. from ARPA yeah yeah mm -hmm. so that uh, I, I would like some clarity on that in mm -hmm. a public forum the next thing is twenty five thousand dollars for road improvement. Now, I added to every one of the articles, like you asked the last meeting, to put it as raise and appropriate, transfer, borrow, so that you can decide how you want to do this. Yeah, I also These don't want the sums are, in the articles. What? I also had asked that we not have the sums in the articles, that we put those only in the motions. Oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah. But this is, this is a rough draft. This is not. Yep. All right, so I'll I'll take those so, out. So, yeah. so these are all so, right now. So specifically for the warrant, one of one of my pet peeves is putting dollar amounts in the article mm -hmm. itself, because if something changes or if we need to make an adjustment, it it makes it harder for the moderator to allow the change. Mm -hmm. Like say say we decided we were too tight on money and we wanted to go 20 instead of 25,000 on the road improvement account. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's probably a small enough difference that the moderator would rule that the the motion met the intent of the article. Mm -hmm. But by not putting an amount in there at all, it gives us the flexibility to set the amount based off of discussions right up until town meeting. So we can say relative. it on the floor when we're reading right. it? Right, right. So the motion will contain the money. You can even put it in like the italicized notes underneath 
that estimated vet, you know estimated article motion okay. you mm -hmm. know twenty five thousand dollars but then if if we have to change it because of some other reason mm -hmm. it gives us the option to to, to i don't know if town council will let us do that but i will definitely do it yeah. they've never made us it. put the dollar in okay there. all right cool. never made us put the dollar in all right there. yeah and because the intent and, and the accountant has tried to force us to put the dollar value in there but town council doesn't have an opinion on that so well unless the accountant's operating without a license i would say <laughs> that i would go with town council yeah um so what you're seeing now the nine thousand the twenty five thousand the thirty five thousand uh -huh. are all things that i have subtracted from free cash so that you see and, and if you open your your budget the one that i sent you the link to you can hit the free cash tab and we can move this in and out however you want to do it um all right, so what's the next thing we're doing here? And, okay. and so what do we have for free cash and then what All are right, we spending? All right, so our <coughs> free cash is started out with 618279 <coughs> If we take 25000 out for the road construction, um, reconstruction, and if I'm not mistaken, and there's still $53,000 in the current road construction. There are... Uh, let me let me just make sure that's accurate, though, before, because I, I don't know that I, I don't remember if I updated. No, no, I'm looking at it right here. There is 40, just under $41,000 okay, remaining so in that he, account. So he's been spending out of it, which I didn't update it with the last mm -hmm. expenditure. Yeah, that's um, Lori's expenditure report from the 13th. Okay. That's what I'm looking yeah. at. Yeah, all right. So that needs to be changed in my notes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is my own just learning here. So whatever is left over at the end of this free cash, does that automatically just go into stabilization? No, it does no, we, have to, we have no. to make a motion. If to, there's well, and that's what we no. do. And, but so, no, anything left, we no, make a motion. No. no, no, no. You can do that, but right. that is not a good thing to do. Okay. What it does is, at the end of the fiscal, you have to spend free cash by June 30th. At the end of the fiscal year, if you don't use it, it rolls into next, next year's year. free cash. If you put it in stabilization, then you need a two-thirds vote to get, to it, get out. it out. Mm -hmm. yeah. So if that's what you want to do, that's fine, but it's not your only option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We don't have to spend all the free cash. We can just let it, we you can, we can put it in stabilization or we can just let it roll over to next yep. year. We and your stabilization our, is is yeah. level with yeah. what the... I hear what he said. You said we've been in that situation frequently. Yeah, I think we remember we didn't have enough free cash, now we have to spend the money. Yeah, but we're yeah we're spending all. But even though even we, though we are getting a lot of free cash, we're still spending almost all of it every year. We're not rolling it over. So one year with well, lean free we're cash. We're at the required and recommended mm -hmm. stabilization mm -hmm. balance for the town. And our yes, budget. we are. So when you spend it on things instead of taking money out of your stabilization account, which is what your other option is to fund these things without hitting the tax rate, you're actually, instead of, you're skipping a step. You can take and put it on in stabilization and then vote it out mm -hmm. to pay these things. So you're just skipping a step. Yep. And while we're still level with, we're not taking anything out of stabilization, it's not as crucial to put it in as long as we're not hitting the tax rate with these things. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the next thing after road improvement is $35,000 from the highway department to replace the canopy over the salt shed. The canopy is 11 years old and due to constant weather exposure, several spots in the canopy have torn. That's a direct copy and paste from the email that I got from the highway department. Um, if we don't have enough in free cash and you want to, you can vote this out of stabilization. This is a, this is a capital expense because it lasts more than 10 years. So I'm, I'm telling you that because we have more requests for free cash than we have, and this is an option of one of the places we can use for wiggle room. 
Well, the other question that I would have is, have we even pursued whether professional repairs would buy us three to five years before we have to replace it and what the cost would be for that? I don't know what it's made out of. It looks like it's just a giant tent to me. Right, which means that so. you can re repair it with giant tent patches. <laughs> okay. All right, so and lots of rubber. Can you write cement. that down and check with Ryan to see if, if repairs can be made as opposed to buying a new tent? Sorry. No, it's all right, because that's what it looks like. I'm like, oh, it's a giant tent. That's great. It is a giant tent, which means a giant patch with a giant amount of rubber cement might do us good for mm -hmm. a number of years. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, that's it's right now we're we're scratching the bottom of the barrel so we need to find ways to be creative, right? Yeah. So we have $9,500 to purchase pr purchase protective clothing. Tom, do you have the amount that is currently I have 4,000 and something. But again, I said I didn't I didn't actually update um, uh, from the most recent I have 4800 in protective clothing that hasn't been spent yet. Um, the protective clothing account is under $1,000 okay. at present. All right. Um, all right. Yes. So Do we know if this protective, if this expenditure is needed for um, new members of the fire department or if it's replacing worn equipment or what the split is between those two? I think he buys it piecemeal, um, a little at a time, as opposed to trying to replace all of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I can find out. You want to know? Yeah. I'm, ju I'm just curious how, how much of this represents equipment wearing out and how much of this represents new fire department members who need their protective gear so they can be <coughs> safe while protecting the town. I mean, in rough split, I mean, even if it's just whether it's 25-75 or 50-50, Okay. I don't. I don't need a, a hard. I don't need a, a very exact number. I'm just looking for a feel. I would be shocked if there was enough for every firefighter we have. Yeah. No. I. I don't think he would be replacing every firefighter, but hmm. I don't know how much it costs to outfit a new firefighter. Okay. I can ask. Thank you. So the next article, he's asking for twenty-eight thousand to make repairs to Tanker One. Tanker One needs $10,000 in brake work and $18,000 in, um, wait a minute, $18,000 for repairs and improving the, the dumping system. Now, if you see the note underneath there, there's currently $37,812 in fleet repair and replace, which has not been touched for several years, and so that would be available as opposed to this article. So, just so you know, out of that, I just paid a ten thousand dollar lease for um for the police that we it comes up every year. That comes. What are we leasing for the police? Um, one of their um, the mm -hmm. twenty nineteen cruiser, and that's paid out of the fleet account every year. Okay, mm -hmm. so I looked this number up today mm -hmm. from this week so when did you pay it i just paid i i paid it to it's going to go on the next uh warrant I Is it, do you know today. of anything else that's coming out of that no th that's only once a year and it's ten thousand so there's still twenty seven thousand in there um really yeah it's once a year and i, I how much longer are we paying a, why are we leasing a vehicle for the um we leased it I believe the year we leased it was because it was a year that free cash was thin and we needed. It wasn't even thin, it was non existent. We didn't have okay. Okay. gossamer thin. All right, so, so we're we going to need to lease 10 in there for next year or come up with it. Well, no, because she's going to have to pay out of that. So there's 17000 in there. So you can reduce this by some of that, anyways, as an option. Or you can do free cash or, you know, whatever. Um, the next article are the ones that are there every year, just reaffirming the expenditure limit for the revolving accounts. Uh, just quickly, going back to the uh, fleet repair and replacement account discussion, mm -hmm. um, do we, me that. would we, um, if we 
spent that all down, then we would lose the benefit of, of the money, of having the money in there. And I, my understanding is the purpose of having the money in there was to give the town some nimbleness if an opportunity presented itself to pick up something at a, a good price. Uh, we could use that to uh, to replace something that we had. Except that you never add any money to it and you're paying a lease out of it, which I didn't know until just right this minute. Mm -hmm. So your nimble yeah, list is not so nimble. Uh, we, we, uh, well, and, and I, and, and it's, it's, it's come to our attention now and we can pay attention. Pay yeah, attention. Well, and, I, and I guess one of my questions would be, would it make more sense, to, uh, and again, we're a little bit tight on free cash uh, with what we've got on the on the plate, right? Mm -hmm. So in this instance, it would make more sense to just vote the money to do the tanker repairs. I guess the question would be is how can it wait until after town meeting or do we want or in our, all the repairs at you, do you guys mind if I just get with the chief to find out if some because if say we have we've got we paid the $10,000 lease this year. But I don't know when that lease ends. I'm going to have to check. I, I can't sure. imagine it was more than. Well, I think it was either a three or a five. Or it must have been I'm a five because it's 29. Nineteen, twenty, So next year would be the last year. Right. So you need to leave. So it's ten is out of it. So there's twenty-seven. You need to leave ten in it for next so, year's or, payment. Or what we could do is put an article on for next year's payment. Right. Yep. I mean, I'd be more inclined to put an article on there for next year's payment okay. for the lease. Um, that would leave the additional ten thousand dollars in that yeah. account, and, and I'd almost be more inclined to, to get with the. This is what I'm was going to ask you guys, if you mind, if I just get with the fire chief over, is to to have him. I, I suspect even though it's twenty eight thousand dollars in repairs, it's probably not all one thing. Like part of it might be. You know, who knows, welding on the frame, and that's one vendor versus another. Um, yeah, he he actually broke it down. Okay. Um, and and what he said was ten thousand dollars to repair the rear brakes, which I would think are vital. Yep. And eighteen thousand for repairs and improving the dumping system. Okay. So I think what I'd be inclined to do is tell him to go ahead and get it in for the brakes now using the fleet repair replacement account. Uh, out of curiosity, when highway, when they need brakes, do they bring it somewhere or have they been doing it themselves? I was under the impression. If they're paying $10,000, it's probably everything. It's probably tubes. It's no, but I'm, I'm just... We, I don't know. I I'm don't just know. wondering. They are, they're always working on the vehicles. They, they do a lot of maintenance. I yeah, don't know they, they do a lot of brakes. But I mean, are we allowed to tell highway do the maintenance on... No. 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 I don't think that would be work at all. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. One, you want certified people working on your on your fire trucks. Yeah. For one. Um, and and two. One is enough. You yeah, want certified enough. people working on your fire <laughs> trucks. <laughs> and number two, number one's good enough. Yes. <laughs> number two, number one's good enough. Yeah. So I mean, my inclination would be tell them to go get the work done on the brakes now. Yep. Um, and he and has another fleet repair and replace, but okay. that's the one that is that the one that we looked at. How much is that one? I've got fourteen thousand in that one, but that. Oh means, no, that's gone down. I just looked at it a moment ago. He is down to three thousand dollars. Okay. He, my recollection is he tends to uh, hold on to that money to the end of the year and then well, spend and then repairs and replaces um, the high priority items and works its way down his list. Yeah, and well that makes sense, you know, if yeah. there's an emergency, you've got the money sitting there and if you, if you I, do the repair and replace right away. I know, because I was watching, like, he's not spending it. his money, he's not spending his money. Oh look, well, he found something to spend his money on. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well. So, <clears throat> yeah, so, and I'd be, I'd be, I'd be more inclined to take that article, generalize it to, uh, just to see if the town will vote to you know, raise appropriate transfer, borrow some sum of money to the repair vehicle repair replacement account, and then if if we are going to be addressing tanker issues, say that a portion of that money is intended to be spent to to do. Okay, so you repairs. want me to change this to to a generic fleet repair replacement account article? Okay. And then, you know, in the subtext like notes, you know, sponsored by the fire department, there's you know they need a certain amount of money. And we want to ensure it's available to do the repairs, okay. kind of a thing. Let me write myself a little Yeah. 
and then that way if they take care of some of it now and then we can just deal with the deal with the rest all right so this is going to be the normal yep. revolving account ones. Yep. Mm -hmm. The next article was put in by the accountant to rescind the borrowing issue, which, oh, look at that, it changed, it shifted on this computer. Um, the formatting changed. <laughs> <coughs> Those are the, the and, and it says in the explanation um, when the articles were They came from the, the 2020 mm -hmm. and 2021. And then the articles were numbers 20 and 2021, but it was a 2020 meeting. The next and, article. And that, and rescinding that borrowing is for which notes? There are no notes that we never issued the borrowing. Okay. We're rescinding the authority to borrow because we don't need to borrow. I believe one of them was one of the park yeah, it was the Lewis Field track, oh, I believe. Oh, the Lewis Field track, yep. so we have it was, to... It was 140K. Yeah, I don't, don't recognize yeah. the other one. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't... But, yeah, you know, I'd have to I mean, look if back we don't... If, we, if we've satisfied the need that that borrowing was authorized for, yep. then let's cancel the borrowing and get it off the books. Mm -hmm. Is okay. there any risk to the town by carrying that borrowing on the books or any impairment to our financial attractiveness well, because, or is it just matter well because just we have this authority to borrow for something we don't need it might hinder our ability to borrow later because we don't have enough borrowing power for yeah. both so this does this does make us less attractive on the loan market yes okay I believe then so, so it, it's I, and it not may just be clean. small enough that it doesn't but that's the theory behind rescinding yeah. it's it. like yeah it may not make the difference but it does count against us mm -hmm. right, let's clean this up thank you all right um I put in, I didn't get a request for a cable. I put in what we had last year. Okay. Um, cable? Yeah. Oh, uh, the what next, about the article? Oh, I'm above sorry, it. the longevity. Yes. The longevity. Let's go to longevity because that's exciting. I do not have the police longevity included in this because I reached out to the chief and asked him, but I, I contacted him after he had gone for the day. Um, I believe that the longevity for the police department is in the police department budget. If it's not, this will be closer to $18,000. Okay. This is part of the personnel handbook. handbook. This is not part of the personnel bylaw. So this is optional. The town can vote for it. You can support it. Advisory committee can support it or not support it in all the same directions. Yeah. So, But that is the amount minus the police department. And that includes the... Um, because the, the spreadsheet has everybody who qualifies for longevity. That includes the library director's longevity as well. Mm -hmm. So if, if it's going to be part of their budget, it would come out of here. The, that $1,500 right. would come out of this number as well. Yeah. Um, Kelly, is there, um, what is the reason for having this as an mm -hmm. article rather than putting it into the operating budget? Because it's optional. It's not part of the operating budget. Okay. So you 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 should still raise and appropriate it as opposed to yeah. yes, um, I, borrowing or transferring. Yeah, or free cash. But it's yeah, or free yeah, cash. Yeah, this this is an operating false. expense. It is an operating expense if you choose to support it, but it's not always going to be because it's optional. It's not some because it's subject to appropriations mm -hmm. in the handbook. Yeah. Yes. That's why um, it's an article. Okay. Can we, um, in anticipation of the uh, town meeting? Would it make sense to have a schedule of the longevity bonus, like how many years, how much they get? I don't think, we're not putting any names on it. I don't think we want to do that, but. Well, that's public record and I have that. No, I, I know it's public, I, I understand it's public record, but I think the, the point here is we're saying here is like we have this many employees at this level, at this much, this many employees at this and this and help people understand the, the source of this number. It's like 
So you would like that available for town meeting? Uh, if it's not too much work. It's, it's not. No, I can okay. just I can yeah, change it to employee one, one two three four five. Yeah, okay. or, or just do like population and whatever the steps are in the different different longevity. Bonus. Yeah, five at this level, like one to five years, five hundred dollars a pop, seven employees. It's like I, that's that's the level okay. of detail yep. I'm looking yep. for. Yep. If you if it's yep. easier no, to write more. No, that's fine. But, that's easy peasy. I'll just copy the right, the right. headers. Um, because uh, I've got the that's the headers on yep. the spreadsheet. Yeah. Yeah. Beth, Perfect. I think Jeff has a question. Yeah, I'm sorry. The as far as the advisory committee's uh, concerned, we're still pending on the library uh, determination. So we're meeting next next week. So according to the budget. However, it's been resolved with this is the line item in the budget going to be 70500 and this 1500 is coming in after the fact. So that next year, the base 3% will be based on the 75 rather than 72, or how is that going to? Well, the, I, the idea is that we're keeping the longevity bonuses out of everybody's base so that it's not part of the 3%. So the budget we should vote on should be 70. Five, mm -hmm. which is what was basically recommended. Is that correct? Or? So when I sent when I sent Caitlin the budget, you'll see that that the longevity is its own separate line for the selectman's recommendation. So you get the total salary for the selectman's recommendation, and then the longevity, which is equal to the seventy-two that she's asking for. Okay, but there should be an extra line item then in the library budget that says longevity. It is in the in yeah. in the one that I sent you. Yeah. Yes. But it's Kelly, there. Okay, I seen will that be uh, for consistency? Would it make sense to to have no longevity in the operating budget and to handle the longevity for everyone Absolutely, by the single article? Yes, that's why I have the total in the Warren article. But that's entirely up to you. That would be my recommendation: is okay. no longevity in the budget at all. Okay. So but there's no but there's, it's it's in there because it was in the request from the library. It's in there because I wanted you to see. So they requested okay. this her salary mm -hmm. as a lump sum, which included the longevity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we and in your recommendations, I deconstructed it mm -hmm. so that she okay. got exactly what she's asking for, but it was separated. Okay, so but I think that it should not be part of the actual operating budget because it's not actually a mandatory annual increase. You could get a board down the road that doesn't want to doesn't want to do it, and you mm -hmm. don't have to put a warrant article in for it if you don't want okay. to. Okay, that makes sense. So the the select board will make its own decision or make its own come to its own conclusion as a group. The advisory committee will consider it and come to its own conclusion, and then. We'll talk amongst ourselves, and we'll either agree and high five, or we'll talk it out. <laughs> That's a good well, way to well, The only reason I'm asking the question is I'd rather not have to go through another iteration. I, I just like to mm -hmm. vote it as what we think it should be, and then hopefully it's yeah, you, according you, to Kelly's recommendation or mm -hmm. yeah, her, her yeah. advice. Mm -hmm. okay. Because that way we don't have to do the three percent on top of the fifteen hundred every year. It's, yeah, it's we top. yeah we don't we don't want raises um we, we want to make sure we understand that the uh yeah we don't want the it's sneaking into the base pay and then getting right. amplified yeah, by it, the it raises. compounds it compounds the, yes. the percentage mm -hmm. okay thank you okay um so all right so unless unless i did something wrong here what were you if you added up all the warrant articles what were you coming up with well they're not all taken out of the right nature. no i know that so I came up with negative $92,432.63. Okay, out of, so you're negative. I'm negative. Okay. I'm way negative. And part of that is. <coughs> I was coming up with 681000 which is still negative. <laughs> but not as negative as what you came up with. So part of what I subtracted from the free cash is money we are required to keep in the free cash. We received $19,000 in recuperated money from CDBG loan that was given to someone who sold and had to pay back the money that they got. Had they lived there forever after so many years, it would go away. However, they sold and they had to pay back the difference. We are required to keep that money even though it's going to hit free cash. We're required to keep that money in case somebody else in that program, because it's not closed out yet, needs the funding. 
mm -hmm. so that we can supply it to them. So okay, that's so we subtracted. Have to, so we have to total. subtract nineteen thousand off of the six six hundred and eighteen thousand. Yes. Mm -hmm. Would oh, it, okay. Would so it make sense worse. to just <laughs> have an number? article to allocate that money to and have a warrant article saying putting the money aside to take it out of the free cash cycle? And nope. you're shaking your head no? Okay. Nope. No. You either, you either um, well, actually, thinking about it now, you could do that, mm -hmm. but it, it we may, the, the program may close, and then you have to re-put yeah. it back in. But, but the warrant article will be written to state that when the program closes, the, the authorization for the money dissolves and the money flows back into free cash. Just like I anything. I don't think you can do that. I don't think you can determine you, what goes back into free cash. You can't sunset? No. Because I, I thought when, when an article had served its purpose, any remaining funds automatically no. float into no, free no, cash. No, no, no. You have to, the you have to, you you have have to explicitly vote it back. If you put, really? if you put yeah. money into an account mm -hmm. you have via to, a warrant article, you have to vote it back out. It doesn't matter if you got 50 cents left, you got to vote it back you out. Even if you out. did everything you said you are going to do, if there are 50 cents left, do you have to vote it out? Yes. Yeah. Well, that's a pain in the butt. That's why it's Welcome just going to sit that's, there. That's, Welcome that's, to municipal finance. No, it's, it's, I know it's accounting. Yeah, sorry. I've dealt with non-municipal accountants. Tr trust okay. me, my, my, my brain broke on that as well. <laughs> okay, I, I that's that's news to me. I was always under the impression that it would just um, that it was easier to get. No, the money operational out. budgets. Operational yeah, yeah, the operating budgets break uh, does break that. at the end of the Basically year. Basically, does that. But warrant articles never go away. No. Okay until you vote them away, mm -hmm. or yeah. you, uh, after so many years, you tell the accountant that, that this is no longer needed, and then she rolls it into free cash. But that's usually five years down the road. Okay, okay, so it can sunset, but it has to, it takes a while to sunset. It's better to just... It's just to leave it there, because if the program closes in six months because they're out of funds, or mm -hmm. they finally get the paperwork done, yeah. This uh, then yeah. given given the schedule, yeah. um, and putting this the is money a Pioneer aside, Valley doesn't... thing, mm -hmm. and they unfortunately lost all of their staffing for this program. And so theoretically, so it's, it's just going to languish. Yeah. But they just hired a bunch of new people because this is a 2019, I think, or 2015. Program. So if it, if if everyone from town voted to do this and it's negative, we just make well you can't you can't you can't vote negative. You all are going to have to pick yeah, we, what we, you're going to let and what you're to, not going to let. Yeah, yeah, but we what we have to do fundamentally is, and, and this and this is, goes back to why I, I prefer the the flexible article motions. Right, is that worst case scenario if if we know everything on here. We, if we don't have enough free cash, we can we can force certain articles through our motion to go to raise an appropriate or borrow. So where or we're at right pass now, over. or pass over. Right. Mm -hmm. So at this point right now, we have to figure out how to cut a hundred grand out of the warrants. Yeah. Well, we have to prioritize. Or whatever the, we, yeah. Or we, or we, or the, so the so we have a couple of different options. We can we can take stuff off. We can reduce the scope because a number of them, as I'm going through, like the cemetery says, hey, we could do one road instead of two. We could do thirty instead of sixty. Right. Can, can we get a five thousand dollar request for a copy machine. Right. I mean, honestly. Say no. Yeah. Well, right. I mean, we could say not this we're not year. You might want to do it next year, but yeah. not this year. Can I? Make work. Are we going to have a projector at the town meeting? Not usually, no, because it would come down right in front of you. Well, the, the town well, meeting's at the elementary school, right? And right, We're yeah. And, and so, they do yeah. have a screen that we can, but yeah. but it would be bonking you on the head. It would come right down in oh, front okay. of the table. Yeah, we, I, we, I, we, it we would can, just be nice can. if we had it up on a board when we're voting through things to let so people know. So when where I we do stand. the budget, yeah. Um, which I'm hoping y'all will come to. <laughs> it's the, a joint the, the budget it, presentation. A that's done with a PowerPoint, with a big screen okay. and pictures, and okay. explains everything and how we got the numbers. Or, do we have a date on that? May 18th. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So one thing I would recommend, though, is 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 and this is, we could talk to Kathleen. It's just see if we could get a whiteboard and like literally mm -hmm. just yeah, have some math. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Get one of those giant sticky note pads. Then I can pre-draw everything and just flip through just it. Just flip. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Actually, we could just get a flip pad and basically, you know, if the article is, a, is approved, it's one number. If the article is not approved, it's the next number. Mm -hmm. and flip it and circle the one that applies and cross out the one that doesn't. 
Yeah. You know? So the next article on here, after the PEG access number of funds, which comes out of PEG, it doesn't come out yeah, of the budget. Yeah, that doesn't impact anything. Uh, oh. Yeah, PEG, PEG has its own account. So oh, we're transferring money so out. So, so, so okay. yeah, so Transfer. take that out of your free cash. Hey, how much do, do we, we how much do we have in there at this in point? In the PEG account? Yeah. I would have to look at the special revenue. I don't have that. I, I can find it, but I don't it yeah. would take me too long to I'd, do it. I'd now. like to know two things. One, how much of this year's budget do we still have? And two We um, have all of it. We've spent none of what we what we've had because we can't find anybody to run the cable station. Right. So all right. Um, so we know, don't. We may not Jay even need this article, but right. And I know Jason is Jake or Jake. Jake. I'm sorry. It's okay. Um, oh, I want to call him. Beth. Beth. Um, Beth. Uh, yeah. The the Peg Cable Access account in the Special Revenue Report is. Over, if I read this right, ending over two hundred thousand dollars. There's a negative, so I'm guessing that means that there's a cash balance in there. The negative is the two hundred thousand dollars. The special revenue report is written backwards. Yes. So anything that's negative is actually positive. That's what's in the account. Right. Yeah. So yes. yeah. Okay. Yeah. That. I remember that from accounting. It's like revenues are negative, expenses are positive. It's just like right. why? <laughs> it's it's really <laughs> counterintuitive, really. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Because uh, I'm, I'm wondering again if we if we maybe need to go out and see if there's at least a professional vendor that can okay. be editing. I have reached out to. It's been advertised in. I don't have the folder. Do I have the folder with me? I didn't bring that down here because we weren't going to talk about cable I'm sorry, tonight. My bad. It's just because we're on the budget. But I have I have been. We've advertised in five newspapers. I put it on the, actually Karen put it on the mass college boards. I've reached out individually to tech programs in three different colleges. I've reached out to the high schools. I've reached out to Spencer. I've reached out to Brimfield. I've reached out to Charlton. I've reached out to, um, and, and I have had, we reached out to Sturbridge and actually Mr. Holcroft has actually been helping me and talking to people um, to try and find somebody. And, and he reached out to Sturbridge, and the person from Sturbridge didn't respond to him. I called the town administrator. I'm like, listen, I sent an email. Your people aren't talking to me. And she's like, no, no worries. I got an email right that, like within 15 minutes. But it's a single person who does theirs, and he's a town resident. It's Can not they, a company. Are they, are they being paid? Not relevant. He's not interested. Oh. So the um, it's, I didn't ask. When you're not interested, I'm done with you. I've got to move on. I've got things to do. Wow. So in Spencer, I reached out to the Spencer town administrator for a different issue, actually, that had to do with cameras and salt sheds. And um, he put me in touch with Spencer Cable Access TV, mm -hmm. who has agreed to talk to Sharon and I. Yay. Yeah, right? Whoop, whoop. A little happy dance. You could start a whole company just editing uh, and, and so that's <laughs> where I am. And if that doesn't pan out, I was told that Charlton has a very active cable group who are very excited about doing cable. And I said, I will give them a TV studio. Yeah. They can have it. They All they got to do is... So we're going to talk to Spencer Cable Access Television. We got an email from him this week. We're talking to him, I believe, next week. Great. And so I have, honestly, I work on this. There's some time devoted every single week to this. Thank you. No. I appreciate that. Jacob has got uh, several of the videos uploaded. Or he's got them converted now, and he's uploading them. So you're tech people, right? Mm -hmm. So as you know, with cable, it is designed to download super rapidly. So you get like a 90 download and you got a 10 upload. Yeah. These are taking 15 hours a piece to upload mm -hmm. because to the they're 43 company? gig to put them on YouTube. We're not dealing with the cable right now. Come to 43 gig, that's for displaying on YouTube. Okay, I'm just thinking maybe we could down, create something with a lower resolution with a smaller file size. So, so like what server, he's, it looks like server yeah, does. But, but, but I mean, but so what Jacob's he, what doing the work. Done, I, yeah. So what he's done is he is now using 
his own business server, which is the opposite. It's 90 upload and 10 download. Mm -hmm. But that's not really, I mean, he, that's a very kind thing for him to do for us, but that is not part of the job. And mm -hmm. the next person who comes in, because he's interim until we find someone. Right. They're not going to have that capacity. Yeah. So, so, but but it's moving forward. He's mm -hmm. got three uploaded. He's got another three that are ready to yeah. go up. He's got and some that. When are you working. say they're uploaded to YouTube, to what YouTube. about to the what about to the ca anything? We have to nothing with the cable channel because okay. we don't have anybody to operate the cable channel. Okay, but I mean we're we're getting into YouTube, which is something. It's yes. Something. Yeah. Step. And and what I when I hired Jacob to do this. I did it with the understanding that he did not have the time because he has his own business mm -hmm. to deal with the cable portion of it. I asked him strictly to be interim cable coordinator to do uploading of, to get the backlog of <coughs> meetings mm -hmm. edited, uploaded onto YouTube because at least they're somewhere. Right. So little baby steps, mm -hmm. little baby steps. All right, so we have the town clerk's request for a new copy machine. Now, 5,000 is is what we, we did a little bit of research. He's looking for a copy machine that's similar to the one that's here. He'd like this, actually, same copy machine. And when we bought it, it was... Yeah, we had a trade -in. Manufacturer list price was $12,000. But with the trade-in, we paid 39 Hundred, yeah, roughly, but that was a while ago. So the, mm -hmm. the ballpark estimate is five thousand. Now he also said if we can't do this with free cash, he's okay with. It. He's not looking for anybody to raise an appropriate money for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, sounds like the copy is probably going to come. But off. we're con we're confident that five thousand dollars would get him what he needs or what he wants. Want is a much better description. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because I mean, really, at the end of the day, it's walk 40 feet and go use this copier. He's connected to this copier. Yeah. It's just very inconvenient. He's got to bring his special um, state paper out here, load the mm -hmm. copy machine. It would just be more convenient for him to have right. but my thought a good is quality that copier. He doesn't have a good quality copier. He's got two garbage copiers in there. Yeah, I, I can I can see so. supporting him and making it so that he's the printer that something right next to his desk is something he puts his special state yeah. paper in, prints the official document he needs, puts his town clerk stamp on yeah. it. But it's like maybe we can get him that for less. Yep, uh, that would and I and I think he'll be okay with that because I explained to him that we are really really tight with mm -hmm. free cash this year. Um, the next thing which I didn't put in the free cash, is $568.50. The Garden Club has been taking care of the flowers on the common and on the gazebo and on the mall, the full flower boxes, for years. And they would like to be reimbursed for the flowers this year. And that was the price that they came up with to mm -hmm. do the flowers for tw this summer coming. Yeah, and, th and this is to cover their cost for buying the flowers that they will then plant and take care of. Yes. It's all, this is all material. And this is something that they've received, um, they've received reimbursements from the Cultural Council before. Mm -hmm. But now Mass Cultural Council, everything is online. And, and they are not? They are not allowing, they, well, they're, they're making people pay taxes. They're reporting it as, as income. And the Garden Club doesn't have an EIN, and no one's willing to put their Social Security number in to get this 500 bucks. So, and I don't blame them. Mm -hmm. I, certainly, you know, it's going to the Garden Club to buy seeds for the town. Mm -hmm. So I offered to put this in a word article for them so that we could continue to have flowers and they wouldn't have to eat the cost. Mm -hmm. I'm good. Okay. Um, okay, so the next article, the cemetery department is looking to replace their 2005 Bobcat mower. It's not working properly and they need $12,000 for that. That one came, I put in the free cash. Um, can, well, and that's actually one of those ones is can we check around the secondary market and use our fleet repair replacement account and see if we can find them something now that's not $12,000. You could also short term up. lease it, but I mean, I'm just wondering why 
I, I think it, it's a longer discussion than I want to have tonight, but I mean, why does the cemetery have their own? Because they have their own people that mow, and the other right. mowers are out during the week being used by other people mowing many, many other locations in town. Yeah. We can't have one mower. It's not enough. Yeah. That's why they have their own. They mow a lot. Yeah. And, and it's very, you know, it's, it's I, mean, I would imagine that it's got to be a fairly accurate machine so as not to destroy anything down at the cemetery. Uh, the next article is for $60,000, roughly. That was kind of an estimate that was given on what it would cost to pave the two roads that are in the um, cemetery that they want to repair. And Mike said that if there's not enough free cash and you want to split it, that he would be happy with that. Now, right below that is $20,000 to bring the water services up to code. Now, Dennis? Gave me information on this. Give me a second to find it. Oh, I do have one question on the on the mower. Uh huh. Is that for the mower portion or is that for the bobcat pull it? That's the replacement of the bobcat mower. Okay. So it's a replacement of a machine with another machine that will do the mowing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I wonder so. if you can do a one year lease on something like that. All right, go to United Rentals or something. Yeah. <laughs> True. Where did it go? Oh, I didn't go far enough up. All right, so we need to replace the water lines at the cemetery. Dennis said that this is priority lines. They're over 100 years old. They're lead pipes, which are illegal according to DEP. And he's putting materials list together, and then he, I should have numbers soon, but he went on vacation and I don't have those numbers. Okay. Um, but $20,000 was the estimate that, that we have. That is... Um, we have to bring it up to code. The Mass DEP has determined that all water that runs through anywhere that's public water has to be drinkable. <laughs> and even though it's not used for anybody but the grass to drink, <laughs> um, it has to be brought up to drinking standards. And so this is really not an optional one. Okay. This is one I would recommend you fund completely because this is not an option. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to fix that. And if we fix the roads next year as opposed to this year, we got to tear them up to put the water lines in anyway, so let's do this and then worry about the roads after. I don't know how you want to work that, but that's... Um, and what are they paving? Just the paved portion? It's, it just says that he's repairing right. two roads. I, I'm not familiar with the cemetery. It's probably only so. a quarter of it's paved. So I, I don't know if it's repair or if it's adding... Well, it is repair, right? That's what he said. I'm just wondering why not just put down the uh, the stone like they do in the rest of the cemetery. Why does it have? Why do those last four roads have to be paved? Is it the last four roads, or is he repairing the paved roads? I don't know. I know, the but that's, if you look at the cemetery, there's only like the last four are paved. The rest of it's all gravel. I guess that's a question you'd have to ask the cemetery commissioners. Um, Could we I, ask them to come know. next meeting? Have them send a representative to the next meeting so we understand what they're doing. Okay. Uh, the next article is for the library building repair maintenance. I never received one, but I have it in there because they have until Monday at 3 p.m. to provide me with a warrant article. I don't have any warrant articles from a library. Is this the library building maintenance account? Yes. Now okay. you mentioned something to me that there's six thousand in there. Is that in their budget for maintenance? No, that is not. This is for you're talking about uh, 18 Common Street. The six thousand dollars for maintenance and um, utilities. And so this and is so. for the actual library. Yes. Not. Normally, this 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 is a warrant article that has appeared multiple times, yeah. and that's where I got it from yeah. initially. 
But I did not receive a request for any funding yet uh, for that. The next is, so this is one that I'm actually asking for. Under the bylaws, under section 12, miscellaneous bylaws, section three, you can see that I, I wrote the bylaw out for you. The town has permission to make temporary repairs on private ways and provided that the private way has been open to public uh, use. You skipped so the electrical inspector? What? The electrical inspector article was before the one you're talking about. Oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, yes, so <laughs> our electrical inspector neglected to hand in his payroll last year. <laughs> and he came to me and asked if I would pay him and I said no because it was a prior fiscal year and I didn't have the authority to pay him and he needed to submit his payroll on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, but, and I said, no. I said, I will put it on a warrant article and if they decide they want to pay it, fine, but I will never put it on another warrant article, so make sure your payroll gets in on time, <laughs> which he has been very good at about doing. But okay. now we're paying him quarterly instead of monthly, which is what was, messing him up in the first place. Okay. So that's so, what that is. So we're good going forward now. It's just he worked for us in the last year and he didn't get paid. And he didn't, and he, and he didn't ask, six months. And he didn't ask to get paid. That's half of his pay. And he came to me like four months into the year and said, I forgot. And I went, that's too bad, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. Well this <laughs> because requiring, I don't have the legal authority to go back and pay you with last year's Does money. this qualify as a prior year bill? Yes. With the four fifths. No, I don't think it does, because it's not a vendor. It's not a bill. It's what payroll. It's, it's so payroll, it's different. And it's different. Yeah. So we'll ask town council. Mm -hmm. I don't know. If, I don't know if we even have to take I that mean, to town meeting. I think you might actually be able to pay it because it is payroll, even if he didn't submit his stuff. No, we can't because the money's gone. Yeah. I, I think because the account closed. Yeah. Yep. It's like, yeah, There's we could no we could deficit well, spend you, to pay his wages. Well, well that's what I was going to say is you could deficit spend this year's account and cover it transfers. That we have. I'll double check, but check. I think this is the way we have to do it. But, but but I'm, I'm fine with doing it this yeah. way, but I think we may actually have the option to just deficit yeah. spend. Okay. But I mean, account. Kelly, he did the work and to, so he is effectively owed or he has earned the money. It's a we stipend. Just, we it's just, not an hourly wage, okay. so yes, I, I don't think it falls under the same as payroll because mm -hmm. it's a stipend. If he was paid an hourly amount, yes, we would absolutely have to pay okay. him. Yeah. But because it's a stipend and he can take it in a lump sum at the end of the year and he can take it whether he works a minute or, not. or mm -hmm. 500 hours, it doesn't change. It's a mm -hmm. stipend. It's a thank you for coming out. So I don't think the rules are the same because mm -hmm. it's not technically payroll, but it's not a vendor, so it's not a bill. But I'll double check. I think part of this was because Lori said she wouldn't pay him as uh, well okay. um, because it was prior here. But I will I will make sure. Yeah, but let's just double check. It. But again, this you know he came to me at the beginning of the fiscal year, like two months, two three months after the fiscal year. So the conversation was a long time ago. I get it, right? But let's just make sure that we're not st stepping on it. And if there's okay, all right. Now back to the gravel. Back to the gravel. Dun, 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 dun. $2,500, that makes perfect sense. So people ask all the time, why don't you fix my private road? And the bylaw says you can fix my <coughs> private road. But if you look at that, what I highlighted in the bylaw, it says based <coughs> upon the annual appropriation <coughs> thereof. Brookfield has been putting $1 in every year. Mm -hmm. You can't fix the road with $1. Mine? So my, rec my suggestion is that we spend $2,500 and we buy a pile of gravel. Just for them. First come, first serve. It's completely isolated. It's completely just for private roads who meet the qualifications of the bylaw. Mm -hmm. And when it's gone, it's gone. Next mm -hmm. year, we do the same thing. And whatever so road we didn't do last year. So those individuals will come to the highway to take that gravel? No, no. Oh. Highway would highway would <laughs> highway would know it's a set aside. So they'd have to follow the process in the bylaw that I, I actually put in the warrant, which will be out of the warrant. It's just there for your your. So it has to have been open for six years. They have to have more than at least three dwellings along the way, 
that can, the, it's going to consist of filling holes and depressions in the surfaces of the way with sand, gravel, cinders, suitable materials, um, but not resurfacing, no permanent structures. It can have grading or scraping, but not more than twice a year. And it shall not include reconstruction or repair of any drainage facilities. But all the abutters have to sign an agreement to hold the town harmless. Um, all damages and claims resulting from the repairs. And the select board have to declare the repairs to be required public necessity. So it's not going to, I'm going to drive up there and grab gravel. And Ryan's not going to go, oh, I think this road is one that needs to be fixed. The residents have to follow this process. But at least now we have the gravel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, I, my recollection is we always set aside that dollar for uh, the intention was by authorizing that. That meant that when the uh, snow plows, my, my recollection was that it was there so that when the snow, we were plowing them in the winter, our insurance would cover that activity. That you, it, don't, it, you don't need that dollar. You don't okay. need that dollar for... For, for them to be covered? Okay, that, that, my no, they, that's, it, that was, our, it, it that was my understanding of the rationale insurance. for one dollar. It, it wasn't insurance. It was oh, that was it? our highway superintendent had asked for it to be put on the warrant annually at one dollar so that basically the town was authorizing him to do the work. Okay. Which actually the bylaw authorizes him to do the work and Mass General Law authorizes the work. But so nobody it, was smart enough it, to So you actually that, don't so. need that. Okay. Which a lot of towns did it for a long time because you did, but they changed the law. Yeah. So you don't need it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it was legacy. All right, yeah. thank you. Okay. Then I would like to pay off the 18 Common Street. Right. Um, we didn't include it in the borrowing uh, because we had the money to pay it off. Yeah. And if if you decide to pay off, you know, drop 100 thousand off of this and pay off 150 and redo the loan for a hundred maybe we can pay it off next year but we have the money to do it Who's the so rather than pay the closing costs and the interest every every time we roll the band over so we have a separate bank loan going for that no we have yeah we have a separate borrowing for it and if the, um, and if we aren't going to pay it off then we need to make sure that we have we have we budget some principal and interest for whatever amount that we're not going to pay off or no, if we paid it off, we wouldn't have any interest. No, so what we would do is we would take whatever you vote. So you say you vote $100,000. Mm -hmm. The loan we have right now the, comes due. Mm -hmm. We take that $100,000 and we pay that toward that loan and we roll the difference over. Right. That $100,000 also pays the interest and the closing costs, which is like roughly $600 for the closing costs every time we roll this over. Yeah. So we don't quite get $100,000 worth of principal we get. Right. Yeah. What, what is the loan rate that we're paying? I don't know what the ban is for that particular. Mm -hmm. um, because with, the, with the prime up to where it is, it's probably like a half percent above prime. Whatever the, I'm just the, wondering what the, the interest payroll. rate is for that if, compared to if we had moved it into borrowing, into the bond, because mm -hmm. we had talked about putting it into the bond. We would, it may actually be lower than the, the rate on the band is probably lower than the bond. Yeah, yeah but it, it won't be if we roll it over again. Yeah. Because the interest rates have skyrocketed since we got the band. Now, do you have to redo the borrowing if you yes. pay it down? Yeah. Why you is have that? To, you have to redo the borrowing because you, because the ban is a, a very short life. It's a one-year life. The borrowing is for one year. So at the end of the year, you pay off with so whatever money. So it's not like a 20-year or a 30-year mortgage? Nope, it's a one-year one year mortgage. One-year state note. Mm -hmm. yep. Still, yes, it's state. That's yep. all we could do before because we didn't have, we had the problems with the audit so on so. Interesting. We weren't able to borrow, yes, prior, because we didn't have any audits. We didn't have, and when we did have audits, they weren't satisfactory audits. Um, we didn't have a bond rating. We had to go out and get a bond rating. So it was very, it was very um, labor intensive mm -hmm. to get the borrowing. <coughs> All right, so I don't know what you want to do with that. But I, again, you know, I would just take the dollar value out of the article. Okay. Right. Yeah, well, I'm going to do that. I'm going to take the dollar value out of all of it, but I wanted you to see what people were asking for, and I didn't actually remember that you said that, so I apologize. I mean, as much as I'd like to pay it off, that's something we don't need to pay off. Right. Mm -hmm. 
So would it make sense it, to put this article it, towards the back of the You do the not need to pay it off. Uh, you do need to pay it down. Right. And when you roll it over, you're going to be charged a much greater interest rate. And it, it made sense at the time of the borrowing because it increased the cost of the borrowing so much that we had the ability to pay it off. There was no need to pay mm -hmm. 40 so maybe years of interest on something off we can pay of off. Or whatever the number is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but we I mean, may we'd not. Still pay the, we'd still pay the loan origination fee, and even, I mean, if if we're only kicking the can one year, it's not like we we pay, you know. Yeah, and hopefully we'll have some decent free cash, free cash because but we've I think, taken a I lot of money. I think we'll need to do some research to be able to explain time. to people at the town floor, like, here's the impact if we only pay off, if we pay off like 150 grand, here's the impact. Or not for the town meeting, but for your budget meeting or whatever. Well, I won't know what the impact is because I won't know what the interest rate is. Until the ban expires. Until the ban expires yeah. and we have to go out for a new one. Mm -hmm. So I, I can't calculate the, the impact yeah. on what we're going to do. But it, make, it made more sense, like I said, at the time of the borrowing because we had the funds to pay it off. Why continue to, why, why have the town pay, pay interest when they don't right. on this for the next 40 years right. Right. or however many years the borrowing is for when they don't need to? That's yep. just charging extra money for right. no reason. And that's why I was saying we should pay this off. I would rather see you pay this off completely and then use the ARPA money for the two things that Ryan wants and you you basically pulled back almost 100% of what were negative for free cash. Because he wants $100,000, we're $92,000 in the hole. And if you take the, the copy machine out, then we're, we're, we've got enough free cash for the rest. Why did my, hmm? why did my brain just break? Because you're tired and it's late. Okay. You work for a living, and now you're here doing this. Just, I'm just, you know, spitballing here. Um, we need to put. All right. So, I have an article to create a school roof capital special purpose stabilization fund. Okay. Because we put the money for the school roof in the capital stabilization fund. My concern is that that money needs to be separate so that when it's time to vote it out for the roof, okay. its intention is known, it's always been intended for the roof, and when it's time to vote it out for the roof, we won't have to explain where all the money came from, why are we only taking this out, why are we taking that out. This is what we put in, this is why we put it in, and this is the only reason we can use it, mm -hmm. is for the school roof. Is that um, a new article? I don't see that in here. No, it's in here. It's in there. Well, the, there's a seventy-five thousand dollars from free cash to the. Right. So there's, okay. one, there's but, two but, seventy-five thousand dollar ones. One is to create the roof capital special purpose stabilization account. Mm -hmm. Then right below that, we're transferring the seventy-five thousand we put in last year yeah. into that account. Then the next one is taking seventy-five thousand dollars of this year's free cash. So that we'll have a total of 150 toward the roof, because the goal was to have 300,000 within five years, which is $75,000 a year. So there's only one reason appropriate oh, for the 75. No, there's no reason appropriate. No, free right. or they well, no, free well, there's cash. money from free cash. Yes, one of these takes from free cash. The other one takes from an existing from an stabilization existing fund account, and right. transfers it to yep. a an explicitly purpose stabilization right. fund. Because what the article year? was purposeful last year. And what year do we need the 300000 by? So last year was when we did the first one, and she said the estimated remaining life of the roof is five years. Okay. So that's why I did it this way. So we've got enough to put it in, so that's why yeah. I was. Uh, Jeff. Yes. Uh, I just wanted to. You were at the same meeting, Brad, when we asked about um, the principal. She said it might be three years now rather than five. It was just, there was a little bit of a right. <laughs> backing in, in yeah. short term yeah. rather than longer term. That would make sense if you've seen the buckets at the school. Well, yeah, so no, it I'm, needs to be replaced. Mm -hmm. So that's why I just, I just wanted to raise it to, to everyone so that it's, I mean, because before we were thinking of the five, now it might be. 
No, it's pretty urgent. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. I did ask for More assistance. Than we had thought. Okay. I spoke to um, Lucas mm -hmm. McDermott from Ann Gobi's office today. He came to see me, and he said that the school roof is a little overreached. Six hundred thousand is a lot of money. Because I asked for the whole amount. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I told him that we had a hundred and fifty after this town meeting if it's voted in go, to go toward it. And then he told me that there is a competitive grant for accelerated school repairs that will be opening up really soon. So I'm going to oh. be looking at that mm. as well nice. to try and get that money. <clears throat> and if we don't need it because we get the grant to get the school roof, we, we have just... matching funds if we need them. And if we don't need them, we can vote them back into capital stabilization or out to be used somewhere else. Nice. We can put them to use. Okay. Um, all right, so we have. That's why we pay you the big bucks. <laughs> Zan, so I'm only at a deficit of twelve thousand. We can go through it later. All right, I'll, I'll walk you through what I have in there. So we have. Mike is also asking as a town clerk for fifty-five hundred dollars for a new AccuVote voting machine. Uh, Kelly? Yes? We seem to have skipped a few. The opioid settlement reserve fund. Again? Yes. I'm you went sorry. You went from the. This and actually, we missed, I think, I think we need to go up to jumping. the OPEB liability. That's because we talked about 18 oh, yeah. Common Street and then we made a big jump. Yeah, because my, my computer, I, I hit the. Because I'm using. You hit my, page down? This, and mm -hmm. I page down instead of mm -hmm. scroll down. Got it. I need a mouse. I'm a mouse kind of person. Mm -hmm. So, OPEB liability fund. The DOR and the auditors and the bond raiders look at how we're putting money away for our upcoming 2033 OPEB liability. Um, so we need to put money in OPEB. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter that we put a lot or a little. They want. They just want to see a consistent amount. Yeah, they they want to see started, progress. Yes, and they want it to be consistent. So we started with fifty thousand. So mm -hmm. that's why I put that in yeah. there. Do we have a Do we have a feel for what our actual liability is or what oh, our funding requirements? Oh, we have it actually is? all mapped out. Uh huh. How bad is it? It's like three. You know what? I'm not even going to try and remember. But you, you send Amy an email. You will be absolutely stunned and amazed. Mm -hmm. There might be a comma shortage after she sends me that email. It's millions of dollars. It's millions of dollars. Lovely. So. All right, thank you. All right. Oh, it did it again. It jumped. Mm -hmm. Little son of a. Anyway, the next one, the town has been receiving opioid settlement funds. We have a whopping $5,586.42. They have decided in their infinite wisdom that these funds can only be used for an opioid impact. So we need to create an opioid settlement fund, special purposes stabilization fund, mm -hmm. that will allow us to use it. We can only use it on NACAN because that is our only impact. So there's an article here to create the fund under 40 section 5b and there's another article right beneath it to allow us to use the money to spend on narcan yeah um kelly as if it's a stabilization fund will it require a two th oh i see two-thirds vote on the next one. First ones to establish second ones to authorize the withdrawal. yes you're way ahead of me thank you yeah. but then to, but then to spend out of it is it gonna does it have to get back to town meeting somehow or is it no because the next article is a two-thirds vote allowing us to spend it on narcan and if we need more narcan than expected the authorization will allow them to buy the narcan they need they, we only have five thousand dollars we're not going to we're, we're going to get dribbles of a hundred dollars at a time mm -hmm. so I, I the way this is written mm -hmm. we should be able to just buy narcan with it without actually having a dollar amount and i don't know if that'll mm -hmm. fly by town council but this was what was provided to me mm -hmm. by the accountant who got it from the, the uh, attending the opioid settlement fund use seminar put on mm -hmm. by the state okay and is it only the police that we surveyed about the impact or have we also talked to the pair the emts narcan 
they need Narcan. So what's mm -hmm. happening is the Narcan is on the ambulance. They buy it. They then give it in turn to the police department. Okay. So this will allow us to resupply that for them. I think okay, we talked about the roof. Yep. Then we have the voting machine. The police chief is acting, asking for $9,000 to buy a new server for the police station. Um, we need to, I don't have this article fully written, but it's in there as a placeholder because under the uh, personnel bylaws, in order to have a position to hire somebody to, we have to create it at town meeting. Personnel bylaws do not allow us to pay anybody who isn't actually listed in the personnel bylaws. Mm -hmm. We don't have an assistant library director position, so we need to create the position. From there, we need to fund the position. Now we have a little bit of a glitch with that because I believe the funding for that position is in the library budget under library assistance. If you fund this position and their full budget, you will be double funding. Well, do we have to do a, uh, a do we have to do a, an article to fund the position, or do we just have to create the position? I believe the bylaw says you have to you have to create it and fund it the first year. Could we create it, but, but then it specify it. Let's see if we can create it and see if maybe we can just specify a separate article authorizing um, that the assistant wages can be used to. Well, it is. She is an assistant. She's an assistant library director. Right. So an assistant is an assistant assistant, right? You just have right. different pay scales. 90% of the money in the assistant budget is for the woman that this has got this new okay. title. So we don't need a funding line. I don't think that we do, but um, okay. I'm not positive. So yeah, it sounds like I don't think we should. I mean, I got to check the bylaw. It was something weird in the bylaw that made me think that. Yeah. Thinking back, I, my recollection is that we, in the bylaws, we created the town administrator position, but that year we didn't fund it at all. No, you don't have to fund it the year you create it, but I think you do have to fund it through an article. But I'm not positive, but I will check. Okay. Um, Wasn't it funded for half a year? Um, that was at a different meeting, Marty, is that at one meeting we created the bylaw and then at a subsequent town meeting, um, I don't remember the, the sequencing or the scheduling, we um, had the article that had the uh, half year, uh, authorization of a half year salary. Mm -hmm. And it's like, and we hired Kelly at the very end of that period, as I recall, or she started at the beginning of the next fiscal year. Yeah, she came to our town meeting to see if the position that we had her 90% hired for was actually going to get get funded. Get funded. I wanted to see if y'all were crazy. That's why I went to the town meeting. You just want to see how crazy we were. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's yeah, kind of I a was, given. I was a stealth operator in, in that meeting. And really, actually, I had Amy with me at that meeting. Yeah. Do I really want to take this job? I really had, I had Amy with me, and it, when I saw the moderator, I was like, oh, wow, that's amazing. This, oh. this moderator has really got this crowd under control. Yep, I definitely want to work here. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that was the first year. That was his first year, I believe. We had a moderator like that in another town for many, many, many years, and, and man, those meetings were like boom, 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 boom. They were great. Mm -hmm. All right, so the general bylaw changes. I have two, I was asked by Jeff to make the um, advisory committee five I, members. I admit my error of the way is from last year. <laughs> so yeah, we have voted in, in committee to change. To so I have come up with an alternative to that. Okay. Because the state law applies as to what a quorum is, unless there is a contradicting law or a bylaw. If we do a bylaw that says a majority is, an, is for the town of Brookfield's boards and committees is a majority of the number of sitting members, we don't have to change these boards anymore. Nice. 
Let's do and that. it'll adjust automatically. So mm -hmm. if you would like, I will write a bylaw for that. Yes. So that was my. I, I, I think that flexibility would be good. Um, and then I have the personnel bylaw changes. If if the article passes, then it has to be added to the personnel bylaw that the library assistant is there and it has to be graded. Uh, I'm sorry, I need a better explanation of that. When you're saying the majority is the number of sitting members. Yep. So what constitutes the quorum? If you get three members, it's two. If you've got five members, it's, it's three. three. If you've got seven members, it's five. Okay. One point, just from a practical standpoint, I think I can get one more person at some point. I mean, I've tried all year. Mm -hmm. Three, I haven't got anybody. I think we might be able to get to five. So I'm hopeful that in the future we'll be stable at, at five. If someone goes off, hopefully we can find one more person. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to ask you, Beth, because the person that I spoke to said that he knew you, so I wanted to just make sure it's a, something named Kevin Outland. Is that oh, I know who that is. The financial planner. Yeah. There's yeah, he sounds familiar. I probably would recognize him on site, but I don't know everybody's last name. <laughs> I know exactly bad at who last he names. Yeah. yeah, he mentioned I, I, I met him at a, 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 a bar, but he, yeah. <laughs> I was just talking. He said, oh, yeah, I know Beth. And yeah. I was, I, I talked to everyone. Yeah, no, he would be, if yeah. he's interested, he'd be good. Be, yeah, if, yeah, if he's the fellow I'm thinking of, I think that'd be He's great. younger, he's yeah. a, also a musician. He's, younger, he's, he's a, a musician. musician. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yep. Uh, so what's, his, his, what's his name? Kevin Allen. Allen. Oh, he's, he's, he's probably, his kids are, 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 his kids are younger, younger, than younger than Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, he's, he's gonna probably say. just recently joined the pack, and that's why I don't recognize the name. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, but, but I, I think with five, Hopefully we'll, we'll be able to. So we can it. change it down to five and then do that other bylaw in, in addition. Yeah. Okay. Can, um, can someone get me a list of, I know we keep throwing around 23 open things that we have to fit. If you go on the town website and look under employment volunteer opportunities, you will see a list. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. So some of this stuff is redundant because I added it because I was getting a little punchy and didn't realize it was already added um, because this is a draft. <laughs> so it says bylaw, personnel bylaw, add assistant library, assist library, or, yeah, assistant library director. We need a simple majority for that vote. I have been requested to discuss vacation and personnel time. We have people who are hired that don't get any time until they've been here mm -hmm. for two years. Two years without a vacation working for a town is too long. It's crazy. I, th we, this has come up before. I thought we talked about it and we said that to, to go ahead and propose an adjustment. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I'll, I'll write something up for that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah I thought we asked the, uh, I recommended that the personnel board should make a recommendation on that. I don't know that they'll have time to meet and do that before okay. this is. So well, if you want to make a whatever we need to do, let, let's get yeah. this taken care of. If that's doing it yeah. ourselves, and let's we can do run it. it by them is after it's in the one? warrant. We can yeah. always pass over it if they don't want it. By it. Hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Six eleven. Well, I'm um, trying to figure out what I missed that you had. That's what I'm trying to figure out. For the numbers. I have six eleven. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll go through. I haven't it in looked at the numbers yet. Um, so that's a vacation, all right. And then another thing that, that I would like you to look at, at, not necessarily this year, but it definitely should be done, is we need, because the bylaw says you can't have this position without it being in there, we need to create a treasurer collector assistant position so that we can have somebody in the wings. If be the treasurer goes on vacation or gets sick, somebody can cover. Yeah. If the collector needs help during bill collecting for you know a massive motor vehicle commitment she's got somebody that can come in and help her and it would be a person that would fill both of these so would that be a new hire or it would be a new position and it would be a, um, a new hire or if somebody here already can wants to can pick up more hours they can do it um, have you had I mean this uh, the all boards clerk is she willing to work more hours? That's a discussion for another time. Oh, yeah. So we have a zoning proposed zoning bylaw. Hold on just a second. Oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Um, is that Warren article replacing the tax collector's request for 
Um, that, that clerk position, every year she asks for the clerk position and she can't find someone and so it's, or is that a different position? We have somebody to work for the tax collector when she needs them that's bonded and that money is available and she's refusing to use the person. So I don't know what to tell you. Okay, I mean, I, just, I, I don't want to even approve both of them. <laughs> no, I definitely wouldn't approve the assistant for, for the collectors. Um, I have minutes from previous advisory committee meetings where she didn't want a, a, an assistant and she asked for the funds to that were the assistants so she would have more hours because she didn't need one. So I'm confused by this whole I need an assistant thing because I've got minutes saying she doesn't need one. Right. Who's printing? Me. Uh, oh. <laughs> How did you do that? I so, just want to make sure we're you want me to go grab it? Yeah, yeah it, would, it would definitely not be both of them. It would just be the one, and I wouldn't be funding it if we created it. If the board wants to create this position, I would not be funding it this year. Okay. I would just create it because it needs much more development. But if it's not in the bylaw, I can't do anything with it. So there'll be no funding of that. The next thing is the petition from the zoning, from the planning board and the marijuana which you can read at your leisure. Yep. Um, I got that this afternoon. And I have two citizens' petitions to add to this as well. And one is to make the town clerk an appointed position, and the other is to make the tax collector an appointed position. Um, citizens? Yep. citizens' petitions, yes. So they will go on verbatim the way they were written. Yep. And those have been su properly submitted and they have been and they've right. been they verified. The warrant. They are on Thank the you. warrant. Kelly, so I didn't hear the last part of it. The tax collector would be what was it you said? Would be appointed as opposed to elected. Okay. So under the law, we put this on a warrant, the town votes for it. It then has to go on a ballot where it could pass or fail. If it fails, it's over. If it passes, this is, I'm reading to you, General Law, Chapter 41, Section 1B. Any incumbent of such office or board serving at the time of acceptance by the voters shall continue to hold said office and perform the duties thereof until the expiration of the term for which said individual was elected or otherwise vacates such office. So it says specifically on the petitions, that this article does not remove the existing employee from his or her position, does not imply nor suggest any dissatisfaction with the work of the employee currently holding the office. It is simply um, changing from elected every three years to appointed, and it would benefit both the employee and the town of Brookfield. Because what happens is if, for whatever reason, let's just say, Brenda's family decides to move out of town. We don't lose her because she's not elected. We would lose her if she, if, if she was elected yep. because she wouldn't be allowed to hold an elected yeah, position elected. as a non-resident. And if and when, if she's still here or if Mike wants to retire, then we can hire somebody who has the qualifications and not, not just somebody not who we, somebody we beg to run and yeah, then a they, resident. and then they decide they only want to work one day a week. Yeah. So it, it actually benefits the town for contiguity of of employment. Mm -hmm. And that's the whole warrant. Do you want to I just have a question sure. about the so you're doing your budget thing on May 18th? Yep. Is there well, if a, you voted to have any answers, I will do my budget be, thing on May 18th. <laughs> um, is there going to be a separate earlier meeting on the marijuana stuff to avoid... They've all? had three meetings on yeah, the marijuana that's, stuff. That's the planning board. That's the planning board. That's not us. And they've had three meetings on it already. Mm -hmm. Okay. They've already had I'm just concerned at the town meeting that it's going to go... Oh, good. it is. It is. It's going to go just as like it did last time because there are actually, very polarized opinions. Yeah, on and it. actually, hopefully, it'll go better because while we still will have very polarized opinions, it, it, the planning board is supporting. The planning board it. is supporting it, and yeah. I, and 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 
you know, sponsoring it so we don't have the disconnect between what's being presented and mm -hmm. what's been, what's been, you know, duly reviewed and, and... And it's mutually agreed upon at this point. There's no... Yeah. It's the perfect compromise. Yeah. No one's happy. Yeah. As, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, the planning board's right. recommending it. So do you want to go over the free process. cash numbers to see where yeah. we differ? Yeah, I want to figure out yeah, where we differ. Quick. All right. So we start with the same number, right? 618279. Yep. Subtract 25,000. Yep. Oh, I subtracted 19. Okay. 25,000. For road reconstruction. So I have them in a different order than the Warren That's article. Fine. Oh, hold on a minute. Well, I I have the first one as being because I have them in a different order than oh, the Warren okay. article okay. Yep. because just I because. plugged them in as I got them into yep. the spreadsheet. Gotcha. Yep. So just go ahead and go through. Them. All right. So names. then I have ninety five hundred for. Um, Do you have the uh, spreadsheet she sent? For. She hold on. She sent a spreadsheet earlier today. Did you send that to everyone? I sent it to Brad yesterday. He's the one who showed me that I could share it. Oh, okay. So. I didn't, uh, yeah, and because because th there's a free cash tab on that spreadsheet, so now you can look at Kelly's at what she's looking at and follow along. Yeah, and then you'll see if my cells are right or wrong, right? Because um, I don't do math. I let the computer do it. Mm -hmm. So I have 9,500 for... Lines. For what? Lines. Lines, yeah. But I don't have it as written as lines in here. So then we have the 2,800 for the fire department. 28,000, right? 28,000, yes, sorry. Um, this doesn't belong in here. We have 20,000 for our, the water lines in the cemetery. 5,500 for a voting machine. 60,000 for the um, roads in the cemetery. 35,000 for the canopy, 5,000 for a copy machine, 9,000 for a new server, 250 for the house. house, and you'll see in yellow the 54 and the 56 for the complete streets and the Rice Corner Road. And then oh. I have 9,000 for line painting, so I have a double one in it. No, the 9,500 was for protective equipment. I just didn't oh. type it in. That I didn't, I, that, that's probably where I'm coming up with oh. something different, because Green Street and Rice Corner, I wasn't. I, I didn't yeah, see I that didn't have that on my. Yeah, those are in, yeah, those. Kelly, I think Kelly said she had those in there, and so she expected the deficit to go down. Yeah, so I put those in there because I expected those to come out of ARPA funds. That's why they're highlighted in yellow. Okay. So the 95 was actually not the line painting, it was a protective equipment for the fire chief. Okay. And the 9,000 is for the line painting. Yep. Then we have 50 for OPEB, 75 for the school roof, and 19 that we have to keep out for CDBG. Yep. So, so I am negative 9243263. Yep. And if you back out Green Street and Rice Corner Road, that's $110,000 backed out. That brings that changes us to a positive $18,000 of free cash which remaining. Is, which is why I, I suggested using the ARPA funds, because now everybody yep. gets what they want. Yeah. OK. Well, all right. Without I'll, having I'll, to raise and appropriate I'll, any anything. of it. Mm -hmm. a anything that, shouldn't, that isn't raised and appropriated just because it's appropriate to do mm -hmm. so. Um, and just because we earmark the ARPA money doesn't mean we spend the ARPA money because it's right. dependent on the grants anyway. So. Whereas if we do this and we vote it into an article, we got to vote it out again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. So yeah, I got 18 to 79, which is actually now, like, because the 19 is, is sitting in there. This is available free cash right. still. And if you take the 5,000 out for the copy machine, Where'd that go? You're missing the 1895 and the... What 1895? 2500. Which, which article? Which is from... Let me reread it. I don't have anything in there that's 1895. Yeah, There's no 1895. 
That's that's gonna that's gonna come oh, out of his current. Okay, that's already coming out from yeah. that. Yeah, that. And then this is coming from the yeah. gravel. The gravel I didn't have in free cash. You were taking it from raising appropriate. Yep. Yeah. We can take it's it out of free cash thing. now, but it's gonna be a continuing expense if it works the way I'm hoping it will. Mm -hmm. So it shouldn't be a, a free cash. Or you could just right. only fund it subject to free cash. That's mm -hmm. entirely your Well that's yeah, that, and that'd be a legit approach actually, since yeah. it's kind of a optional thing. So we can drop that into the free cash. Yeah. Let's do that one from free cash, just right. because I think it is. I, I do want to highlight that we're we're being nice. <laughs> of course, we're also being nice to the suspension on our ambulances. So. Yes. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Gravel. No. 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 Fingers. Gravel. And now what did I say? Twenty five. And one thing. I, one thing I don't see. And, and it's the one thing that would make me cautious on doing both the cemetery roads is we had asked Ryan to get a quote on the Lewis Field Road. And he said it was way too much money, so he couldn't do it with his road funds. He was going to try and do it with his, his road funds. He said it was way too pricey. Well, I understand that, but he, did he ever give us a number? Nope. All he said was it cost too much. Okay, so we need a number and we need an article. Write that down. For it, um, and while well, I'm thinking of splitting the difference between cemetery and and them, in terms of mm. instead of 60 on the cemetery. No, are you uh, talking if pave? Cemetery. Are you talking pave the uh, yeah. repaving the Lewis Field parking road? Mm -hmm. If we're going to do that, they should probably do drainage too. No, 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 no. Now you're out of now you're out of control. Yeah. You are oh. way close to the levy limit. You can't raise and appropriate that money. You don't have enough no, in here. No, I, I understand, but my okay. point is just paving <laughs> that. I, my, I, I mean, I drive, I go to Lewis Field a bunch with my kids, and my thought is that without um, proper drainage, without proper it's, drainage it's the, the we're not going to get nearly as much life out of that repaving as we would like. And so what I am saying is that if we are going to do this, we should uh, look into what it's going to take to do it well, or at least get certified that the drainage isn't a problem and that it will be okay. So we have plans from the, because of the new activity that we're doing through the park grant. The, uh, the, that the has field drainage. leveling that, that we just authorized? Yes. Mm -hmm. So we have plans that has drainage included in that. Okay. And that should be consulted before you consider doing anything with that road because it might just be all chewed up after they're Yeah, done. I was going to say, I wouldn't So you may want to wait till next stuff. year. Yeah. Okay. I would definitely agree with that. Next but, year yeah. Because but, I don't want to have to repave it twice. Okay. Right? Fair. Yeah. I'd yeah. be interested in talking to the cemetery commission because, again, it's only like probably four roads that are paved. Well, they said they would, they're only doing two and they're, they're going to split. And he's okay if you split it, if you want to mm -hmm. pop another, you know, 30 grand off of that. And that's a guess. They haven't actually met with the paving company. They haven't even got a, an estimate. And the guy, the, the guy who does the paving for us this year may not get the quote next year, may not get the bid. Yeah. I always so thought it was interesting, too, that they paved the cemetery because I thought the historical nature of it, they wouldn't. Right. What do you uh, specifically do you want me to ask Ryan to get an estimate for you paving the cemetery or Lewis Field or both for those roads? Um, well, it sounds like the cemetery commissioner doesn't have a formal quote for that. No, he's meeting, Ryan and the cemetery commissioner are meeting with the current person who does the paving um, at the beginning of next week. Okay. So I knew that they asked me to put this on here kind of as a placeholder. Okay. So <coughs> and they, they were guessing it'll be around six. Well they ha if they have the paving guy, I know in the cemetery commissioner is the one that is functionally called the meeting, but can he get a quote on Lewis Field at the same time if they're talking then? Will that quote be good next year after we're yeah. after we're done doing the upgrades to the field? We have plans for that upgrade, correct? We do. They've been engineered, and I think it's getting ready to go out to bid. Okay. Is there... 
And that's rel that's the field leveling, correct? So. Yeah, yeah I sat with um, Corey okay. and Kathy and asked because it, it's it's not fitting. So I asked them to move because there's already drainage in the field. Right. And where they're going, what they're going to have to do to create the pitch they need to create, and the, to level it, it's going to need, it's going to cross over into the drainage. Okay. So I asked them to shift everything. Um, so I don't I haven't seen those drawings yet. Okay. All right. We're trying to get it so that it disturbs the drainage as little as it's possible. Because yeah. it's going to ex, ex, you know, increase the cost exponentially if we right. have to re-engineer re the, the yeah, drainage. Okay, that makes yeah. sense. Yeah. Uh, Beth, do we, uh, sorry, Kelly, do we have a, an expected schedule for the work on that field? I'm just curious. No, we're still working on the drawings. Okay, thank you. Um, once the drawings have been approved or, or, you know, Corey's done with them, then we'll look at going out to bid. But I, I asked, like I said, I asked them to make some changes to try and kind of mm -hmm. squeeze it into the spot it's already in. Mm -hmm. Because the pitching of it is going to change the drainage. Because they're leveling the field and they have to pitch it so the water runs off. Mm -hmm. So um, we're still, and that's another reason I think that the paving of the field is premature, so. Yeah, okay. so what sense. about the quote? Quote for the cemetery. For the cemetery. We'll worry about the okay. the rest afterwards. Okay. All right. So we have, should you so choose to, roughly twenty thousand dollars in free cash remaining. Okay. That's and that's because I that's because I took out the um, yeah, this ninety five thousand should be up here. That's why I put it in the wrong spot. It's the protective clothing. That's what I meant. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So that's the end of warrant and free cash. So Crack in a sweat so, here. So it does technically fit so long as we find those two with the ARPA money. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. So we're done with the warrant discussion, or is there anything that you gentlemen want to consider just taking off even though we're technically fully funded. Nope. And would nope. you would you like to vote that it's approved as it sits right now? Do you want to rearrange the order of them? If I don't receive any other warrant articles um, by the end of Monday, Actually, then the, the it one will thing be that's done. The yeah, the one thing that's the unknown, I guess, would be the library improvements. Yeah. And how much do we have left? 20. 20. Yeah, that's an existing account that they have, they already have money in that account. And they may not need it. That may, may be why they didn't yeah, ask know. it because they, 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 they had because so many things fixed. Yeah. No, they, they have $8,600 in it and my understanding is that that's a, that's typically been used as a standing repair fund. That they don't, uh, that, that they have not typically don't always have a project for that money, mm -hmm. but they use it to deal with problems well, they, that come up. Well, they typically have they typically have a laundry list that mm -hmm. that, that they work through. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, I don't take any issue with any of the ordering of these. None of them. Okay. None of them. I mean, could it be optimized maybe a little bit better? Yes. Is it worth? I mean, I can chunk crap? each department together if you'd prefer that or. I, I, I honestly think, prefer I to have it mixed up because it keeps people in the audience. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't see a problem with the order. Do you guys? Do, the one nothing, request nothing. I do have is to, no. to take the numbers. I will out take the time. numbers out and I will put them together. And actually, what I'll do is I'll keep this one to do the motions off of, and I'll do another, another one, one with no with no numbers yeah. on it. That'd be great. And if I don't receive any further requests. Then I can I will have it off to town council and the advisory committee by uh, Friday on Friday at some point of next week, yep. not tomorrow, of next week. Okay. And then oh, did you want me to do the article for the treasurer collector or no? Yes. Okay. Please. Or do we need a motion on that? For the uh, assistant position? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, that like I said, it won't be well, funded. We already have it in there. Do we have to vote on that? Well, well, we yeah. need a by yeah. we need a bylaw change to create the per the position, right? Right. Yeah. And then we would need to fund it. We don't yeah. need to fund it because I'm not going to look to hire anybody for this position until I can work the bugs out between because we've got assistant money for the treasurer and we've got assistant money that the collector is asking for. Okay, so you could hire someone into that position and the collector's money could pay for them when they work on the collector side. Correct. And the treasurer's money could pay them on the treasurer side. Correct. Okay, so, you don't, so we need a position, we don't need the funding. Correct. Okay. Um, right. You want a motion? Yeah, I think I think Kelly was looking for direction relative to the can I just go with it or not, and I'm, I'm inclined to say let's let's uh, uh, make a motion to approve it, yeah. like yeah. with the stated adjustments, yeah. kind of a. Uh, I move that we uh, ask Kelly to prepare a uh, an article for the annual town meeting warrant to create the uh, assistant collector slash treasurer position, um, consistent with the uh, discussion we have had to this moment. And I will get the person on board. Mm -hmm. I'll second, second it. Oh, second. Hi. <laughs> I've been All up since five. Hi. Hi. Ditto. <laughs> So how much of a train wreck would it be if we decide that it's 9 o'clock and the rest of the agenda is going to go on the next meeting? That's fine. Your next meeting is May 6th? 4th. Fourth. May 4th? May 4th, Star Wars Day. Which is the budget. Yeah, yeah. Do May the 4th be with you? Yeah, so that's my daughter's birthday, so Do we need I'm going to have to get clearance to whether I can come or not. <laughs> Okay. Oh, you said she likes politics. You know, you can always shift it to a different day. My you don't employer, have uh, to meet, we'll bring, although it's nice we'll to have a standard day and time. I'll, it's not a requirement. I'll bring cupcakes. <laughs> the other question is, do we need a do we need a meeting next week during the day for anything or for um, police? I I yes, I think yeah. we do. I think we do. Mm -hmm. All right. What day? Because he just you got like me it? what I was looking. Remember the wording yeah, or whatever. Yeah, he, yeah. Just before this meeting emailed it to me. So what's the earliest meeting that we could, can we do like Tuesday lunchtime next week? If we post it tonight, yeah. yeah I can post it tonight. Okay. Next yeah. week, Tuesday lunchtime. Not noon. I'll be there. Can we just double Let check? me just double check. <laughs> I proposed yes. it and then I'm like, oh, <laughs> check. Well, at least I'm double checking before we put it on the calendar. Tuesday, oh, what is this? Tracy Daggert is coming at 1.30 to do testing for lead upstairs. I don't think they need me for no. that. <laughs> so executive session, under three. Well, you know what, I have a doctor's appointment. I have one on Monday. I feel like my cortisol levels are going to be a little... <laughs> yeah. Do you want to do Wednesday? Are you available on Wednesday? Um, technically, I'm supposed to work from this card for Wednesday, so that makes it hard. All right, so And I'm meeting about... with the police. I have a scheduled meeting on the 26th at 3 o'clock with them. So you want to meet prior to that? Is that what you're I, I mean, unless, I don't know what the rules are with rescheduling with that. Um, can we do... We could you do Monday. Do, could you guys do like 4 p.m. on Tuesday? One. No. No, you can't do Monday. We can't, we can't schedule it in time for Monday. Yeah. So Tuesday is as soon as we could do it. You know what, I can cancel. I, the appointment I have is somewhat optional on Tuesday. I'll go ahead and cancel that. So let's do Tuesday at noon. Let us know what your hard stuff is, and I'll try and keep everybody focused. Okay. Okay. Um, it would be one fifteen. All right. And I have a one thirty that I can't skip, or I would prefer to avoid impacting. Do you want to start it earlier at all, or? We could go a little. Or, well, yeah, we could go. I could get there by about eleven forty-five. Is that? That'll get us a full yeah. 
Yeah, let's do 1145 start and that'll give us a full 90 minutes. Okay. So, um, are you skipping your executive session? We don't need it, right? Because we yeah, didn't have gonna, anything. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna yeah we didn't have anything available to review, so we're gonna do that. Basically, we're gonna do that executive session. Um, All right, on Tuesday, and we'll bump the budget over to May fourth. Yeah. And can you put two? I don't know if we'll need the other one, but for the police chief. At least that way it's in there. Yeah. Yeah, so that it would be under uh, excuse, uh, reasons two and two. three. Yeah. Yeah. Two and three. Yeah. Which Perfect. one's two? Hmm? Which, which exception is number two for executive session? Number two is, is for contracts, not collective bargaining, which would be the chief. Okay. And, and number three is for collective bargaining. Right. Um, what about the, the matter you and I discussed just a little while ago before, the, before our meeting That started. can be, well, you've only got an hour and a half, so you may want to add that one to the fourth, but... Mm -hmm. um, well, let's, we could add it to Tuesday because we might not have anything on the second contract. Okay. Yeah. So we'll see that again. Two and, one? yeah. And so it, it, it falls under three, so... So yeah. it's going to be one, two, and two threes. Yes. The exceptions, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Do you want anything particular to be written under the uh, no under the second three? Just leave it. Okay. Nope. We don't need to add anything okay. to the litigation. Um, we have. You need to. Do you want to approve your minutes? Acknowledge your reports, and then close your meeting. Sure. Okay. Can I get a motion to acknowledge the? Um, Police reports. From you have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Can I get a motion to approve the select board minutes from 331 um, and then uh, two sets from 4 6? I crossed off 411 because I sent it, but no, I didn't think Kelly still has it. Yeah. All right. You have that motion? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right, and then acknowledge the fire report from January, February, and March of 2023. You have that motion? Second. Aye. Aye. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Got it. All right. Trying to help you along, Beth. Thank you. That was quick. Can we get a note motion to adjourn? Oh, did we want to, what do, I mean, I don't need to be, I'm assuming my employer's not going to want me here on the 4th. Do we want to? Change that date or? Um, Your employer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the boss. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you want to? Do you want to do Tuesday the second? We need to check the calendar to see if the room is booked. Okay. I can look at my town government right now. I I can do it. Or is it a manual calendar? It's just just in the other room. Okay. Right? With nothing. Yeah. No. That's up to date. I didn't update it today. Yeah. I just need to get on the chair. I don't like the first week of the month. I literally have something mm -hmm. every night. <laughs> I got these coolers. Yes. Just a closing comment. I yes. just want to thank you for your dedication and effort for making this board functional and efficient. Thank you. The second says Cultural oh. Council 630. Mm. All right. Okay. Oh, right. He's like, oh, yeah, I didn't learn that. <laughs> or no, 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 no. What did you say? It's, it's written on May 2nd, cultural calendar. It's in the calendar is May 1st, and I remember her saying May 1st, so that might be. <laughs> okay. So See what's posted. Let me look. You know what? Let me look right now. Let me look online. Look online. They, they have a meeting posted for April 25th. Huh? You, yeah, you can't hold it. That's true, and the town election is the, uh, is the first. Oh, yeah. Monday. Yeah, you vote on Monday. Mm -hmm. So they can't have that meeting on Monday. So it's got to be Tuesday. It's got to be Tuesday. So. They need to repost it then. Well, nope. and I guess the question is, they've got this room. Do we want to do a meeting down in the police station? We can do that. I'm down for a change of scenery. They could move to the police station. Mm -hmm. Well, they could, but you know what? 
sometimes I go to the path of least resistance, and you know what? Mm -hmm. He doesn't mind going to the, uh -huh. mind going to the police station. No, I mean, is there Wi-Fi there? There is. Uh, That's the challenge. Ooh, there might not be, but you know what? I can, I can, I can, can open up us? my hotspot. All right, you, I can, I can, I, I can, I can probably hotspot myself if I need so, it. There just. You go. Well, I'm going to need somebody's hotspot if okay. they don't have. I don't think they have a, a public network uh -oh. there, so. But, uh, oh, yeah, but right. You want to clear it with Sharon, too. <laughs> no, this no, would no. be the regular meeting. That would meeting. be a regular meeting. On Tuesday? Yeah. Would, Is um, that possible Tuesday of the 2nd? Well, if, if Sharon can't do it, we might be able to get Jacob to do it, but yeah. but it's um, something we need to consider. And we don't have to videotape it. Yeah. If we, if we, you know, this yeah. has to get done. Yeah. Because. I can't do a budget presentation without a budget. budget. Yep. And that's what we're discussing yeah, on that. Yeah, it's going to be the budget. budget. Yeah, we need to yeah. start so voting on we're, stuff. So we're moving the meeting, the next meeting from May 4th to May 2nd? Yeah. And at the police station? Yeah. Okay. We live by our calendars. Thank you. Great, thank you. Don't we well, Actually, we, we, we can continue to adjourn this meeting. <laughs> yes, we can. <laughs> Oh, we right. are done. Oh, which one of you is going to do the department head meeting this month? When is it? <laughs> the 27th. It's Thursday the 27th, this next Thursday. I didn't realize we were, Beth wasn't available for that. Well, she I was, don't know if she, I am or not. She was, actually spoke with Brad about alternating because they have the most flexible schedules as to who would come and, and participate in the department mm -hmm. head meeting, but it's not... It's not mandatory for anybody. So. It's, what, it's what, is it 10 or 11? Okay. on the second, great. All right, so, and this is, is the, on when is this, the 27th? It's at 10, 30, I think. On Thursday? On the 27th, yeah. Thursday, the what 27th time is it? at 10.30. It usually 30. is, is it at 10? It's, it's at 10.30, because yeah, the I'm, Tai Chi is in here. No, it's at 10. Is no, it 10? It's at 10, yeah. I don't know, I'm here all day. <laughs> Try I'm, the veil. I'm available if maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can. I can. I'm open. And I, I could be available also. No, we're talking about the department head meeting, which of them is going to come and be part of the department. Mm -hmm. We're good for May 2nd. Yeah, e either one of us could cover the department head meeting. That'd be great. So we're good. Yeah, we do it. All right, we'll work it out amongst yourselves and show up at 10. Mm -hmm. That would be greatly do do appreciated. Or? Yeah, I'll do it. You're doing police negotiation. Okay. I'll, I'll cover this one. Awesome. And that's at nice. 10 o'clock at Town Hall. Uh, how, how long does it typically last? I usually shut them off at, at, after one hour. Yeah. I'm like, right. Okay, it's been an hour. Thanks for coming out. Sorry I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> if I didn't get to ask you how your department was doing. It's just basically a round robin of what everybody's doing where they are. Yeah. Yep. Um, they will have the warrant to look at and the... Buh, 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 I think that's it, because we won't have a budget to give them. Not yet, so. So I, I don't know if I should bring this to the next, put it on the next agenda, so. Um, so May 2nd is when Ryan needs to be here. Master plan, where we're at with that, and the open space, where we're at it. We don't, that. we're not dealing anything with open space. We're doing hazard mitigation and master plan and economic development. There's no open space involved in any of that. I know, but the master plan that we originally received, like where like where are we with everything? Oh. Okay. We're, we're gonna go through that. And I would like to just be able just to- Just give like an update on what's going on? Right, because when they do that master plan update at the beginning of June, I wanna be able to say like- Like here's what's the scorecard from the last one? Okay. Right, right. So, are is that you, are something- Are you that, gonna find that out, or is that well, something you want me to find no, out? No, I'm willing I to do it. I just okay. wanna make sure like, I don't know what, if you guys wanna be involved with that, if we wanna put that on a- um, Put it on the agenda. Put it on an agenda, or do we wanna just let me research it and figure it out? Um, I'm okay with empowering you to go out, research it, figure it out, and bring a report back to us okay. at the following at a meeting. All right. Um, whatever date he wants to put on the agenda for it. Okay. So in the meantime, I'll just. Of course, just actually, go by then I might. I'm not going to be chair. So we'll put it on. Whose turn is it going to be after the election? <laughs> You've got a too big a smile on your face for that. <laughs> I think it's me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Yeah. You'll be walking out of here doing your little happy dance <laughs> thinking about that. So. Good thing you gave me your phone number. <laughs> <laughs> You were about to become inundated <laughs> with guess what's happening at the town hall today. <laughs> so, all right. So, anything else before we close? Um, I think, I think motion it. to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. Uh, all in favor? No. Oh, second. All in favor? You're not in charge yet. <laughs> all in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs>